हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज ग्रेट इन फिजिक्स क्लास चैप्टर ट्वेल्व इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इन लास्ट वीडियो क्लास वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज वोम्स लॉ आई एम राइट यस इन प्रीवियस वीडियो क्लास वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज वोम्स लॉ यस एक्चुअली व्हाट इज वोम्स लॉ सर यू टेल मी व्हाट इज वोम्स लॉ सी देर इज सम रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अक्रॉस द टू टर्मिनल्स ऑफ द कंडक्टर एंड करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू द कंडक्टर आई एम राइट यस Uh, this relationship found by the german scientist george simon ohm in the year of 1827 yes to honor of him that law is known as ohm's law okay because the george simon ohm found that the relationship between the potential difference across the two terminals of the conductor and current flowing through the conductor so that is the reason why it is called ohm's law is it clear yes so actually what is ohm's law sir what is ohm's law ohm's law means nothing but it's very easy law at constant temperature at constant temperature the current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to potential difference across the two terminals of a conductor that is ohm's law okay what is ohm's law sir at constant temperature the current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the two terminals of a conductor am i right yes that is ohm's law isn't it yes so generally we write what is that i which is directly proportional to v which means current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to potential difference across the two terminals of the conductor isn't it yes so we can write so v is directly proportional to i both are same just i have interchanged the term so v directly proportional to i so what is that meaning sir actually so what is that meaning look at here so when the potential difference across the two terminals of the conductor is increases correspondingly the current flowing through the conductor also increases because what causes current yes potential difference causes current due to which when the potential difference across the two terminals of a conductor increases current gets increased is it clear yes so when the potential difference decreases correspondingly yes current flowing through the conductor also decreases that is a meaning because the current is full and full depend on potential difference if potential difference is zero then the current value will be 0 0 0 is it clear yes so this is ohm's law so v is directly proportional to i so in order to remove this directly proportional we need to put yes proportionality constant am i right yes that is v which is equal to what is that yes r r is a constant what is this r that is a constant so we can write v equal to r i or otherwise we can write v equal to capital v which is equal to i r this is very very important equation that is ohm's law equation so v equal to i r this is ohm's law equation you never ever forget this equation okay the, because the full and full the electricity concept full and full based on ohm's law v which is equal to i r so what is r sir r which is constant that constant is known as resistance that constant is known as resistance is it clear yes so v equal to i r this is ohm's law how many quantities are there total totally three quantities are there first v what is v potential difference i current flowing through the conductor and r resistance what is it r r which means that is resistance is it clear yes if we need the i value which means current value what will be there v which is i which is equal to v by r when this term come this side what will happen this multiplication changes into division so we can get v by r so current which is equal to potential difference divided by resistance i which is equal to v by r okay what is i i which means current then which is equal to potential difference divided by resistance is it clear yes look at here i'll, I'll write here i equal to v by r what is i already you know current yes this current is directly proportional to v already we have seen that just now we have seen current is directly proportional to v whereas the current is inversely proportional to this resistance what is this current is inversely proportional to resistance am i right because look at here 
here this resistance is in denominator am i right yes so this current is inversely proportional to resistance is it clear students yes so what is it meaning sir current which is inversely proportional to resistance what is it meaning sir look at here note this point so when resistance increases current gets decreases note this point when resistance de increases the current gets decreased when the resistance decreases current gets increased that is a meaning so because i which means current is inversely proportional to r which means resistance so resist if the resistance increases current value automatically will decrease if resistance decreases current value automatically will increase is it clear yes so we look at here here first one here v i which is directly proportional to v and second one i which is inversely proportional to r so this current flowing through a circuit is depend on two factors am i right yes the current flowing through a circuit which is depend on two factors first two one yes that is potential difference and second one that is resistance r okay the strength of the current okay generally we can say we can say that uh, strength of a current is depend on two factors first one the potential difference across the two terminals of a conductor and the resistance resistance of that conductor that's all okay yes so this is ohms law this is v equal to ir this is ohms law i which is directly proportional to v then i which is inversely proportional to r r which means resistance yes so we know what is potential difference we know what is current then what is r sir what is r r which means resistance what is that r resistance so what is resistance sir do you know what is resistance yes now we are going to see what is resistance of a conductor is it clear students yes so today's class start with resistance what is that yes resistance so next topic in this session we will start that is resistance of a conductor resistance of a conductor resistance of a conductor so we know what is potential difference and we know what is current but we do not till now we didn't study what is resistance am i right yes so in this session i am going to start with a new topic that is resistance of a conductor if you listen my class you will get some idea what is resistance is it clear yes so next question that is what is resistance sir what is resistance look at here the title is resistant so the title itself reveals the answer resist what is that resist which means what is that sir what is that something which is resist the flow of electrons which means flow of current that is called resistance okay something look at here something which is resist which means which is oppose the flow of electrons or otherwise we can say the flow of current that is called resistance what is that that is called resistance is it clear yes the title itself reveals the answer resist something which is resist the flow of electron that is called resistance students okay yes so let's get started with example okay yes look at here consider a conductor a copper wire it's a big sized copper wire very big sized copper wire okay yes consider a copper wire copper is a very good conductor compared than other metal all metals are good conductor of electricity but copper is cheaper very cheap material as well as good conductor of electricity okay yes so consider a conductor for example copper wire is very big sized copper wire okay yes so this copper wire has two ends this is one end and that is one end okay the copper wire has two end first end that is second end yes connect the two ends of a copper wire along with battery along with battery or any other power source yes like this
Yes. Look at here. This is one end and this is another one end of the conductor. Is it clear? Is positive terminal, negative terminal. This is battery. So potential difference is produced by this battery. Am I right? Potential difference is produced by this battery. Okay, look at here. Consider a conductor. It's a conductor. I have taken copper wire. Copper is very good conductor of electricity. Yes. The copper wire has two ends. So this is one end and that is another one end. Connect the two ends of the copper wire along with this battery. Along with this uh, battery two terminals. Okay, yes. Positive terminal of the battery is connected with one end of the copper wire and negative terminal of the conductor, sorry, battery is connected with another one end of the copper wire. Is it clear? Yes. See, look at here. Already we know metals, all metals have the tremendous amount of free electrons. Am I right? Tremendous amount of free electrons. So, there will be lots of free electrons inside the conductors. Am I right? Yes. You just imagine few, uh, few electrons, free electrons. Yes. So this center point, this is consider the center point. This is nucleus, and this is electron revolving path. Okay, you just consider for for example. Yes, this is all are electrons. So center point that is a nucleus, electrons continuously revolving, isn't it? Yes. Center point, this dark point, this is nucleus. dark point this is nucleus and electrons continuously revolving you just imagine like that there is no way yes look at here consider copper wire the copper wire has copper is one of the metal the copper wire has millions and billions are trillions amount of free electrons in it am i right yes you just consider the few free electrons so consider this is electron the center point is nucleus and the and this round this is electron revolving path free electrons are there this outer orbit you just consider imagine like that this is outer orbit free electrons are continuously revolving around the nucleus isn't it yes look at here when at this point when the potential difference applied across the two terminals of the or two ends of the conductor what will happen what will happen look at here already we know this potential difference is a kind of pressure am i right potential difference is a kind of pressure due to which what will happen this potential difference pushes the all electrons to move in a particular direction to move in a only one direction am i right yes already we know very clearly potential difference is applied across the two ends of the conductor like a copper wire the electrons will start move from one one part of the conductor to another part of the conductor am i right one part of the one part of the copper wire to another part of the copper wire am i right yes look at here look at here so when the potential difference is applied when the potential difference applied across the two ends of the copper wire the electrons the free electrons present inside the uh, inside the atom will start to move from one part to another part of the conductor am i right yes so look at here this is very important term when the electrons start to move from one part to another point it will collide note this point the electron free electrons will collide with other electrons like this because electrons are moving yes electrons are moving this direction actually this is sorry negative terminal to positive terminal electrons are moving from negative terminal to positive terminal yes when the electrons starts moving from one atom to another atom the electrons will collide with other atom look at here this electron when the electron flowing uh, starts moving this electron will collide with other electron as well as other atoms which means collide with even protons and neutron also yes so this collision will happen continuously frequently happen okay yes this collision happen frequently is it clear yes so when the electrons start moving it will collide with other electrons and other atoms other atom means nothing but the protons and neutrons is it clear yes so this collision happen again and again simultaneously simultaneously it, this collision happen again and again because 
because this potential difference pushes the all electrons to move in a particular direction so electron starts moving from one part of a conductor to another part of a conductor yes when the electrons moving from one atom to another atom it will collide with the other atom am i right which means it will hit it will hit with other atom am i right or wrong yes this collision this collision is called resistance this collision is called resistance very easy okay yes this collision is called what is that resistance is it clear students yes look at here due to this collision due to this collision there is some what is that there is some obstruction am i right there is some obstruction or opposition to flow of electrons am i right yes this collision is called resistance students nothing is that this collision only is called resistance is it clear yes again i'll repeat that on this point consider the copper wire this is copper wire the copper wire has a tremendous amount of free electrons okay in its outer orbit which means valence a valence band okay yes look at here so this has this copper wire has two ends this is one end and that is one end so connect the two ends of the copper wire along with this battery what is that battery here battery is a power source yes already we know the battery cell and any other power source which is produce potential difference already we know very well yes what is potential difference sir potential difference is a kind of pressure potential difference is a kind of pressure yes so when the two ends of the conductors connected with the battery due to this potential difference the electrons starts to move from one part of the conductor to another part of the conductor this flow of electron is called current already we know am i right this flow of current this flow of electron is called current already we know very well yes so when the potential difference is applied across the two ends of the conductor here the electron on this point here electron will starts move from one part of the conductor to another part of the conductor this flow of electron is called current already we know very well yes so when the electrons move from one atom to another atom it will collide with other atom yes look at here this electron when starts moving is it will collide with other atom other atom and as well as other electrons as well as other impurities you know what is impurities which means foreign atoms foreign atoms is it clear yes so this collision happen this collision happens frequently again and again because here potential difference is maintained continuously due to which this collision among the electrons and with foreign atoms and other other atoms happens continuously is it clear yes this collision is called resistance this collision is called resistance due to this resistance note this point is very very important point due to this resistance there is some obstruction or opposition to flow of electrons because electrons is continuously collide with other atom other atom as well as other electrons so due to which there is some obstruction in flow of electrons am i right or wrong there is some obstruction you know what is obstruction tamil we say tadai the hindrance okay yes there is some obstruction to flow of electrons this obstruction is called resistance okay this obstruction is called what is it resistance is it clear students yes so due to due to there is there is some obstruction to flow of electron current value gets changed am i right current value also gets changed why sir why the current value gets changed because already we know what is current the flow of electron is called current am i right the flow of electron is called current look at here there is some collision am i right there is some collision so there is some obstruction to flow of electron so obviously the current value gets changed even current value also what is that opposed is it clear yes so there is some hindrance which means opposition for current value also because the flow of electron is called current here there is some opposition to the flow of electron due to which the current value also changed current value also changed so this collision is called resistance students that's all very easy okay this collision is called resistance okay yes i'll write the definition this collisions 
sorry this collisions the opposition the opposition to the flow of electrons the opposition to flow of electrons the collisions the opposition to flow of electrons are called are called resistance are called resistance this is definition or the meaning for the word resistance so this collision what collision sir when the electrons starts moving from one part of the conductor to another part of conductor what will happen this electron each and every free electrons will collide with other electrons or other electrons and other atom and and foreign atom so this collision this collision actually oppose the flow of electrons this is called resistance students okay that that phenomena that collision is called resistance that's all okay you may have thinking something is there something something is inside the conductor that is oppose the current that is called resistance you may have thinking like that actually nothing is there okay nothing is there inside the conductor this collision the collision between the electrons and between the uh, protons neutrons and between the foreign atom is called resistance actually any other special material is there okay, any other Uh, any any special special material is not there inside the conductor uh, this collision between the electrons between the electrons and and ele between the electrons and protons and between the electrons and foreign atoms that is called resistance okay that is called resistance very easy one so this collision the opposition to flow of electrons are called resistance okay this is a this is a definition for the word resistance is it clear students yes very easy okay yes so due to this collision there is some obstruction to flow of electrons am i right yes already we know the flow of electron is called current due to this collision due to this collision current value also changed am i right or wrong current value also changed so already we know current is inversely proportional to resistance current is inversely proportional to resistance am i right yes so if resistance what is resistance the collision if the collision increases current gets decreased current gets decreased yes if the collision which means if the resistance decreases okay which means the collision decreases the current value gets increases that's all very easy if the collision is more then current value will be less if the collision is less then current value will be more why sir why because here what is collision the collision opposes the flow of electrons if there is no collision what will happen electrons still continuously move in a particular direction which means only one direction so we can get the maximum amount of current value this collision only opposes the current flow okay the collision only opposes the current flow is it clear that's all okay you may have thinking something is there inside the conductor which is opposite the current value actually in realistically nothing is there inside the conductor this collision between the electrons and other atoms and foreign atoms such which means impurities that is called resistance that is called resistance 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 okay yes that's all very is is there any doubt so i'll explain again because this is very very important concept okay look at here this conductor conductor having tremendous amount of free electrons in their outer orbit when the when the potential difference are applied know this point when the potential difference is applied across the two ends of the conductor the electrons will start move from one part of the conductor to another part of the conductor this flow of electrons is called current already we know very well is it clear yes actually inside the conductor there will be huge amount of huge amount of free electrons not one or two the thousand two thousand and then uh, hundreds uh, which means uh, lakhs and uh, crores okay there will be millions and trillions amount of free electrons is it clear students yes so when the potential difference is applied across the two ends of the conductor the electron will will start to move from one part to another part am i right yes so when the electrons move from 
one atom to another atom each and every free electron collide with which means hit a hit with other electrons as well as nucleus which means proton and neutrons am i right yes so this collision happens again and again this collision happen again and again happen continuously also is it clear yes due to this collision due to this collision there is some obstruction you know what is obstruction this word obstruction ah tamil tamil solla le thadai yaro avanga tadukranga okay yaro ena padranga electron flow ara tadukranga inda obstruction ah ena tadukranga nu artham okay va yes due to this collision there is some obstruction or opposition okay there is some obstruction or opposition to the flow of electrons am i right yes to this flow of electron this resistance this collision is called resistance actually this collisions oppose the flow of electrons if there is no if sorry if there is no collisions what will happen electrons continuously will flow easily will flow from one part of the conductor to another part of the conductor but due to this collision here there is some obstruction okay there is some obstruction to flow of electrons to flow of electrons this obstruction or opposition to flow of electrons are called what is that that is resistance my dear students that is called resistance is it clear yes already we know the flow of electrons is called current am i right the flow of electrons is called current yes so due to this collision current value also changed actually current value also decrease because to get the maximum current the electrons should flow continuously but here there is some hindrance which mean there is some collision due to which current value also changed actually decreases actually that is decreases is it clear students yes that's all so if the collision is more on this point if the collision is more what will happen the electrons will flow the, the flow of electrons reduces am i right because collision is more if the if the flow of electrons is reduces current value also reduces because what is current the flow of electrons is called current if flow of electrons is reduced okay the current value also reduce is it clear yes if the collision is less if the collision is less the electrons will move freely from one part of the conductor to another part of conductor so we can get we can get maximum amount of current because there is no there is no obstruction to to break which means to uh, to oppose the flow of electrons so we can get maximum amount of current is it clear yes that's all so that is the reason why here the current value is inversely proportional to resistance so already we know what is resistance the collision the collision the collision the oppose the flow of electron is called current am i right yes so if resistance increases which means the collisions increases what will happen current value gets decreases because the collision oppose the flow of electrons already we know the flow of electrons is called current so automatically current flow decreases yes if the if the resistance value decreases which means what is that if the collision value is decreases then the electrons will flow freely from one part of the conductor to another part of the conductor conductor so we can get the maximum amount of current value so current value will increases that's all okay so this is a concept look at here this is a concept i which is inversely proportional to r which means if resistance increases current value decreases if resistance decreases current value increases which means if the collision decreases current value increases if the collision increases current value decreases that's all khatam very easy one is it clear yes actually nothing is there inside the conductor like uh, any special material this collision the collision between the electrons and the collision between the electrons and the protons the collision between the electrons and the other impurities which means foreign atom that is called collisions sorry that is called resistance that is called resistance that's all very easy okay students is there any doubt no doubt okay yes so this is a definition for the word resistance these collisions the opposition to the flow of electrons are called resistance so current is inversely proportional to resistance that's all is there any doubt no doubt okay yes so let's start with an example i'll give you another one example you listen here another one example i'll give i'll give you listen here consider consider a street 
consider a street tamil is uh, tamil is a kadavidi something like so that is consider a street this street has a two end this is one end and that is another one end okay you are here you are here actually this street is very crowded area this is crowded street is very busy street so many people are there okay look at here yes look at here consider a street it is a street actually a very crowded street this is a very crowded street yes you are here you are you are in crowded street yes this street has two end this is one end and that is another one end is it clear yes you want to you want to go to another end of the street you want to go to another end of that street is it clear yes look at here here the space the space between the each and every people is very 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 small look at here this each one every uh, figure that is people you can say just people okay look at here this each and every figure that is people you are here this street is actually a crowded street the space the space between the each and every person is too small so very 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 small very less is that clear yes you are here you want to go to from one end of the street to another end of the street within a second is it clear within a second which means oh, within a minute you just can say within a minute is it clear students yes if you know this point if you move very fast if you move very fast from one end of the street to another end of the street what will happen definitely you will hit everyone body uh, even not everyone body is uh, uh, someone okay, some uh, somebody's somebody's body okay if you move very fast from one end of the street to another end of the street definitely you will hit somebody okay some or uh, are everybody okay so everybody body or everybody am i right yes why sir why because there is no space there is space but very very small okay there is space between the people that is very very small if you move very fast definitely you will hit every one body okay or we can say everybody okay yes this collision not this point this collision opposes your motion am i right or wrong yes definitely this collision opposes your movement due to which what will happen due to which there is some obstruction am i right or wrong yes there is some obstruction you will not you will not able to cross uh, this this uh, street within a minute because there is lots of obstruction there is lots of opposition to to oppose your motion which means movement that is here collision am i right that is here collision the same thing happens in conductor the same thing happens in conductor okay here also collision happens between between electron between electrons and electrons and between electrons and protons and between electrons and impurities which means foreign atoms this collision actually opposes the flow of electrons that is called resistance is it clear students that's a very easy okay definitely here if you move very fast definitely you will hit every one body okay definitely you will hit every one body is it clear yes so this collision this collision between you and the people what is that that is collision this that is resistance i mean that is resistance so due to this collision definitely you cannot you cannot cross from one end of the street to another end of the street within a minute because everyone oppose everyone oppose your motion everyone oppose your movement am i right yes that's all that is called collision here the same phenomena happens in the conductor that is called resistance in the topic of electricity that's all okay students this very easy is there any doubt is there any doubt no yes so sir i explain tamil yes 
ஒரு நம்ம ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் என்னென்னு பார்க்க போகிறோம் நமக்கு வோல்டேஜ்னால் என்னென்னு தெரியும் தென் கரண்ட்னால் என்னென்னு தெரியும் நெக்ஸ்ட் நியூ டேர்ம் இருக்குது இன் ஓம்ஸில் அது ஆர் ஆர்னா என்ன அப்படின்னா ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் வாட் இஸ் தட் ஆர்னா ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் எஸ் ஒரு காப்பர் ஒயர் எடுத்துக்கோ இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு காப்பர் ஒயர் இந்த காப்பர் ஒயர் என்ன பண்ணுற நம்ம பேட்டரியோட கனெக்ட் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் பேட்டரியோட கனெக்ட் பண்ணிருக்கோம் எஸ் பேட்டரிங்கிறது என்ன இட் ப்ரொடியூசஸ் பொட்டன் சாரி சாரி பொட்டன்ஷியல் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் இட்ஸ் ப்ரொடியூசஸ் பொட்டன்ஷியல் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பொட்டன்ஷியல் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் என்ன தெரிஞ்ச கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ரெஷர் ஆமாவா எஸ் ஸோ நம்ம பேட்டரியில் கனெக்ட் பண்ண உடனே என்னவும் உள்ளே இருக்கிற ஃப்ரீ எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ்லாம் மூவ் ஆக ஆரம்பிக்குமா கண்டிப்பாக என்ன பண்ணணும் ஒரு பிளேஸ்லேருந்து இன்னொரு பிளேஸுக்கு மூவ் ஆகும் ஆகுமா எஸ் அப்படி இந்த ஃப்ரீ எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ்லாம் ஒரு பிளேஸ்லேருந்து இன்னொரு பிளேஸுக்கு மூவ் ஆகும்போது என்ன ஆகும்னா ஒரு ஆட்டத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய ஃப்ரீ எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ் என்ன பண்ணும் இன்னொரு ஆட்டத்தோடைய ஃப்ரீ எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ் மேலே மோதும் ஃப்ரீ எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ் மேலே மட்டும் போதாது இங்கே இருக்கக்கூடிய இந்த நியூக்ளியஸில் இருக்கக்கூடிய ப்ரோட்டான் மேலேயும் மோதும் ஓகேவா ஸோ அப்புறம் என்ன பண்ணுவோம் அகைன் இந்த ஆட்டம் என்ன பண்ணுவோம் இன்னொரு எலக்ட்ரானோட மோதும் இந்த ஆட்டம் இன்னொரு எலக்ட்ரானோட மோதும் அதே மாதிரி இன்னொரு ஆட்டம் ஃப்ரீ எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ் இன்னொரு எலக்ட்ரானோட மோதும் ஸோ இந்த மாதிரி ஃப்ரீ எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ் என்ன ஆகும் உள்ள இருக்கக்கூடிய ப்ரோட்டான் ப்ரோட்டான் அலையும் ப்ரோட்டான் மேலேயும் மோதும் இன்னொரு இன்னொரு ஆட்டத்தோடைய ஃப்ரீ எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ் மேலேயும் மோதும் இல்லை இம்ப்யூரிட்டி சிலரிலே நம்ம ஃபாரின் ஆட்டம்ஸ் அந்த ஃபாரின் ஆட்டம்ஸ் இருந்ததுன்னா அது மேலேயும் மோதும் ஸோ இந்த கொல்யூஷன் என்ன பண்ணும் கண்டினியூஸாக நடந்துகிட்டே இருக்கும் ஏன் கண்டினியூஸாக நடக்குதுன்னா அங்கே பொட்டன்ஷியல் டிஃப்ரென்ஸும் கண்டினியூஸாக அப்ளை பண்ணிகிட்டே இருக்கிறோம் அதனால் என்ன ஆகும் இந்த கொல்யூஷனும் கண்டினியூஸாக நடந்துகிட்டே இருக்கும் ஆமாவா எஸ் ஸோ இந்த கொல்யூஷன் இந்த கொல்யூஷன் நடக்கிறதுனால என்ன ஆகும் இந்த கொல்யூஷன் நடக்கிறதுனால என்ன ஆகும் எலக்ட்ரான்ஸுடைய மூவ்மெண்ட் அங்கே ஸ்டாப் ஆகுமா கண்டிப்பாக ஸ்டாப் ஆகும் ஓகேவா இந்த மாதிரி கொல்யூஷன் நடக்கிறதுனால எலக்ட்ரான்ஸுடைய மூவ்மெண்ட் என்ன ஆகும் கண்டிப்பாக அந்த இடத்துல ஸ்டாப் ஆகும் ஸோ எலக்ட்ரானுடைய மூவ்மெண்ட் கொஞ்சம் ஸ்டாப் ஆச்சுன்னா ஸ்டாப் ஆகாது கொஞ்சம் டைம் டிலே ஆகும் அந்த மாதிரி ஆச்சுன்னா என்ன ஆகும் கரண்ட் ஃப்ளோயும் அஃபெக்ட் பண்ணுமா பிகாஸ் ஃப்ளோ ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரானிக் கால்டு கரண்ட் ஸோ எலக்ட்ரானுக்கு இடையில கொல்யூஷன் நடந்தது அப்படின்னா என்ன ஆகும் கரண்டோட வேலையும் சேஞ்ச் ஆகுமா கண்டிப்பாக சேஞ்ச் ஆகும் பிகாஸ் ஃப்ளோ ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரானிக்ஸ் கால்டு கரண்ட் இங்கே இங்கே எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ் ஃப்ளோ ஆகிறதே என்ன பண்ணுது இந்த கொல்யூஷன் தடுக்குது அதனால கரண்டோடைய வேல்யூ என்ன ஆகும் இங்கே சேஞ்ச் ஆகும் இது குறையும் கரண்டோட வேலை என்ன ஆகும் கண்டிப்பாக டிக்ரீஸ் ஆகும் இந்த கொல்யூஷன்ஸ்லாம் நம்ம என்ன சொல்லுவோம் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் சொல்லுவோம் நீ நிறைய பேர் திங்க் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கலாம் கொல்யூஷன்ஸ்னா சரி ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ்னா ஒன்றும் இல்லை ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ்னா கண்டக்டருக்குள்ள எதுவும் இருக்குது அதுதான் கரண்ட்டை வந்து கம்மி பண்ணி கொடுக்குது அப்படின்னு நினைக்கலாம் கரண்ட் அந்த மாதிரி எதுவுமே கிடையாது ஓகேவா ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ்னா எந்த ஒரு ஸ்பெஷல் மெட்டீரியலுமே கிடையாது எந்த ஒரு ஸ்பெஷல் மெட்டீரியலுமே கண்டக்டருக்குள்ள கிடையாது இந்த கொல்யூஷன்ஸ்னா என்னது ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் இந்த கொல்யூஷன்ஸ் தான் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஓகேவா ஒவ்வொரு கண்டக்டருக்குமே ஒவ்வொரு மாதிரி கொல்யூஷன் இருக்கும் இது காப்பர் ஒயருக்கு ஒரு மாதிரி கொல்யூஷன் இருக்கும் நிக்ரோமுக்கு ஒரு மாதிரி இருக்கும் அலுமினியம் தென் அயன்ஸ் இது எல்லாத்தையுமே ஒவ்வொரு மாதிரி கொல்யூஷன் இருக்கும் ஓகேவா தட் சார் இதுதான் இதுதான் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் வேறு எதுவுமே இல்லை ஸோ இந்த கொல்யூஷன் என்ன பண்ணுது எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ் ஃப்ளோவாக வந்து தடுக்குது ஸோ எலக்ட்ரான் ஃப்ளோ தடுத்து தான் என்னவும் கரண்டோட வேலையை சேஞ்ச் ஆகும் பிகாஸ் ஃப்ளோ ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ் கால் தான் கரண்ட்டு இங்கே எலக்ட்ரான்ஸுடைய ஃப்ளோவே தடுத்துதுன்னா அப்போ கரண்டோட வேலை என்னவும் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்காக குறையும் குறையுமா குறையதா கண்டிப்பாக குறையும் தட் இஸ் கால்டு ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் தட் இஸ் கால் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் இது ரெனி டவுட் நோ டவுட் அட் ஆல் ஓகே ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் வெரி ஈஸி யூ டோன்ட் கெட் கன்ஃபியூஷன் ஓகே எஸ் சி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் மெட்டீரியல் விச் மீன்ஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கண்டக்டர்ஸ் ஹாவ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் வேல்யூ ஓகே திஸ் இஸ் ஃபார் காப்பர் ஓகே ஐ ஹவ் ஐ ஹவ் டேக் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஃபார் காப்பர் ஓகே இது அலுமினியம் தி அலுமினியம் ஹேஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் வேல்யூ தென் நிக்ரோம் ஹேஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் வேல்யூ தென் ஜிங்க் தென் டின் அண்ட் ஆல் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் ஆல் கண்டக்டர்ஸ் ஹாவ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஓகே ஹியர் ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் வேல்யூ வில் நாட் பி சேம் ஃபார் ஆல் தி கண்டக்டர்ஸ் இட் இட் வில் பி டிஃபர் ஃப்ரம் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி கண்டக்டர் தி ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த கண்டக்டர் வேல்யூ சாரி காப்பர் வேல்யூ இஸ் டிஃபர் ஃப்ரம் டின் வேல்யூ தி ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த டின் வேல்யூ இஸ் டிஃபர் ஃப்ரம் அலுமினியம் வேல்யூ தி ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த
Is it clear? Yes. So this is resistance formula. Resistance which is equal to potential difference divided by current. So the ratio of potential difference and the current which is equal to resistance. Which is equal to resistance. Is it clear students? Yes. So the resistance is depend on two factors. First one potential difference and, sec and second one that is current value. Am I right or wrong? Yes, obviously that is right. Is it clear? Yes, that's all. So I rub this. Yes. Next one. Sir, resistance, okay, sir. Resistance is clear. What is the SI unit of resistance, sir? You may ask me. What is the SI unit of resistance, sir? Am I right? Yes. What is the SI unit, sir? What is the SI unit of resistance? Look at here. Let me teach me. The SI unit. The SI unit of resistance is SI unit of resistance is ohm. What is that? Ohm here. OHM. The SI unit of oh, this point very very important. The SI unit of resistance is ohm. Ohm is denoted by the symbol. This is. This is ohm symbol. Okay. Actually, this is a Greek word. This is a Greek letter. This ohm is actually this is omega. This letter name is omega. This is omega. Actually, this is a Greek letter. Is it clear? Yes. Look at here. According to ohms law, V equal to I R. So I value is V by R. Am I right? Yes. Then R value, which means resistance, which is equal to V by I, which means resistance, which is equal to potential difference divided by current. What is that? Potential difference divided by current that is equal to resistance. Is it clear? Yes. Then the SI unit of resistance is ohm. What is that? SI unit. Very very important one more question. The SI unit of resistance is ohm. Okay. So ohm is denoted by the symbol like this. This is ohm symbol. Actually, this symbol name is omega. This symbol name is omega. This is actually a Greek letter. This omega is a Greek letter. Is it clear? That's a. Okay, for example, the 50 ohm, 50 ohm like this, and and uh, 20, 20 ohm, 2.5 ohm. Okay, which means what is that? Resistance value is 2.5. Resistance value is 20. Here, resistance value is 50. That's all. Okay. Yes. The SI unit, what is that? SI unit, what is that? SI unit of resistance is ohm. Ohm is denoted by the letter omega. The omega letter symbol symbol is this is actually so omega is a is a Greek letter. Is it clear, students? Yes, that's all. Am I right? Yes. So this is very important formula. Resistance which is equal to potential difference divided by current flowing through the conductor. Is it clear? Yes, very easy. Okay, yes. I'll rub this side. So next question rising here. Next question rising here. So resistance already we know sir resistance. What is that? Yes. Resistance which is equal to what is the formula? Yes. Potential difference. Potential difference divided by time sorry current divided by current okay so resistance is denoted by the letter yes r capital r then potential difference denoted by letter capital v then current capital i so resistance which is equal to potential difference divided by current am i right yes look at here what is this resistance si unit sir what is resistance SI yes, unit? That is ohm. Yes. Look at here. The resistance. Now this point, the resistance SI yes, unit is ohm. Just now I have thought that ohm. You write ohm here. Yes. So next one. What is this SI yes, unit of potential difference, sir? What is SI yes, unit of potential difference? That is volt. Yes. That is volt. Yes. Divided by then current is here in denominator. What is SI yes, unit of current, sir? What is SI yes, unit of current? That is ampere. That is ampere. Is it clear? Yes. Next question rising here. What is one ohm? What is one ohm? 
so already we know ohm which is equal to volt divided by ampere volt divided by ampere is it clear see look at here the resistance formula is potential divided, divided by current so resistance for resistance si unit is ohm which is equal to potential difference si unit is volt and current si unit is ampere so look at here that is that is meaning 1 1 1 Somebody is saying one to the other oh, and yes in front of in front of every quantity that is one is it clear yes so what is one worm sir next question rising here what is one one worm one worm which is equal to one volt divided by one ampere this is very important formula on this point on this point one worm one ohm which is equal to one volt divided by one ampere this is very very important three mark question define one ohm define one ohm so what is one ohm sir one ohm which is equal to one volt divided by one ampere one volt divided by one ampere sir what is it sir so mathematically okay this formula is okay sir theoretically what is the meaning sir what is the explanation for one ohm sir what is the explanation sir that is next question okay yes i'll rub this okay listen here listen students so one ohm is equal to one volt divided by one ampere yes what is the meaning sir what is the meaning that meaning is when on this point when one volt potential difference is applied across the two terminals of the conductor and the one ampere current flows through it then the resistance value is said to be one ohm can you catch my point look at here i repeat it one ohm one ohm means nothing but when one volt potential difference is applied across the two terminals of the conductor and the one ampere current flows through it then the resistance value of the conductor is said to be 1 ohm that's all 1 ohm so i can't understand sir okay you may say so i can't understand sir yes let's start with the example you listen here i'll start with the example what is 1 ohm okay look at here consider the conductor this is a conductor copper wire consider it's a conductor it may be copper wire or any other conductor. For example, I have taken copper wire. Okay, yes, the conductor. Yes, connect the two end of the connector, uh, conductor along with battery. Along with battery. Yes, the positive terminal, this is negative terminal. Here and here. Okay, listen here. Very easy. So next we are going to see what is one ohm. What is one ohm? Is it clear? Yes. So uh, consider a conductor, the copper wire. Yes, it has two ends, this one end, this another one. The two ends of the conductor is connected with connected with battery. So this is battery. This is battery. Is it clear? Yes. Look at here. Look at here, very easy one. So I am going to apply, I am going to apply one volt potential difference. Okay, one volt potential difference across the two ends of the conductor or two terminals of the conductor, we can say. Yeah, this is one terminal of the conductor and this is another terminal of the conductor. Or others we can say this is one end of the conductor and this is another one of the end of the conductor. Is it clear? Yes. So this battery which is used to produce potential difference already we know very clearly. Yes. So with the help of this battery, I have applied, I have applied one volt potential difference. What is that? One volt potential, which means generally we say one voltage. One voltage. Okay, one volt. Is it clear? Yes. So when when one volt potential difference is applied across the two terminals of a conductor if current flows look at here when uh, when one volt one volt potential difference applied across the two terminals of a conductor the current flows is one ampere if the current flows through the conductor at the rate of one ampere then the resistance value is said to be one ohm Okay, the resistance of the conductor is said to be 1 ohm. That's all very easy. Okay, here potential difference value is 1 volt and corresponding this current value is 1 ohm. So then the resistance of the conductor is obviously 1 ohm. 1 ohm. 
So potential difference one voltage and current value is one ampere. Then the resistance value is one ohm. That's all. Why? Because here when the potential difference is applied, what will happen? The electrons, the free electrons present in the conductor will flow from one part of the conductor to another part of the conductor. This flow of electron is called current already we know. Yes. So when the one volt potential difference is applied across the two terminals of the conductor, the uh, the the current flows through the uh, the current flows through the conductor at the rate of one ampere is said to be one ohm that's all the resistance of the conductor is one ohm that's all very easy suppose suppose the two two volt potential difference is applied across the two terminal of the conductor the current flows the current flows through the conductor is two ampere what is the resistance sir resistance obviously two ohm resistance obviously will be two ohm suppose suppose the three volt three volt potential difference is applied across the two terminal of the conductor the current flows the current flowing through the conductor is 3 ampere. What is the resistance value? Resistance value will be 3 ohm. That's all. Khatam. The resistance value will be 3 ohm. Is it clear? Yes. Suppose, look at here. Suppose if you apply 3 volt, if you apply 3 volt potential difference across the two terminals of the conductor. Yes. The current flows just 1 ampere. If the current flows just 1 ampere, what is resistance, sir? Now you tell me what is resistance. Already we know what is resistance formula. Yes, resistance which is R which is equal to V by I. R which is equal to V by I. So what is V value? Yes, V3. And divided by I value, 1. So resistance value will be, yes, obviously 3 ohm. That's all students. Very easy. This is how we need to calculate. To calculate. Is it clear? Very easy. So what is 1 ohm, sir? I'll write here. When 1 volt okay this is 1 volt 1 volt potential difference 1 volt potential difference when 1 volt potential difference applied across the across the two terminals of the conductor across the two terminals of the conductor across the two terminals of the conductor the current flowing through it the one ampere current the one ampere current the one ampere current flowing through it through it which means through the conductor yes then the then the resistance then the resistance value is said to be 1 ohm this is very 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 important theme or question please students note down in your class work note please note down in your class work note look at here so when 1 volt potential difference potential difference value is 1 volt when 1 volt potential difference is applied across the two terminals of the conductor this is the conductor two terminals of the conductor yes this is the potential difference by this Battery, yes. Terminals, uh, terminals of the conductor, the one ampere, one ampere here, one year, which means one ampere, yes. The one ampere current flowing through it, already you know, current flowing always flowing from positive terminal to negative terminal, yes. The one ampere current flowing through this conductor, then the resistance value is said to be, what is that? That is one ohm. Already you know what is resistance? The collision, the collision between the electrons is called resistance already we know very well is it clear yes so if we up if we up, uh, when we apply the one volt potential difference across the two terminals of the conductor if one ampere current flows through the conductor then the resistance of this conductor is said to be one ohm one ohm that's all very easy so look at look at here this formula reveals the answer the formula reveals the answer one ohm is equal to one volt divided by one ampere so when one volt potential difference across the two terminals of the conductor the, the, the one ampere current flowing through it, then the current value is said to be, sorry, then the resistance value is said to be 1 ohm, that's all. This formula reveals the answer, that's all. Is there any doubt, students? No doubt at all. Is there any doubt, you tell me? No. Very easy one. Please try to understand my concepts, what I'm telling here. Is it clear? It's very easy. Okay, look at here. Next one, what is that? 1 ohm. Now we are going to see what is 1 ohm. Already we know 1 ohm is equal to 1 volt divided by 1 ampere. 
1 volt divided by 1 ampere yes consider the conductor is a conductor yes copper wire connect the two end of, two ends of the conductor along with this battery battery which is used to produce potential difference yes potential difference is a kind of pressure which pushes the all electrons to flow in a particular direction already we know very well is it clear yes so when the two ends of the conductor is connected with the potential difference sorry uh, battery what will happen the electrons will start flowing electron will start flowing from one part of the conductor to another part of the conductor already we know very clearly isn't it yes look at here when one volt when one volt potential difference is applied applied across the two terminals of the conductor okay so in the circuit what is the potential difference potential difference one volt yes so if potential difference is there what will happen there will be current flowing i mean there will be current flowing because what causes current the potential difference causes current so there is potential difference due to which there will be current flowing am i right yes look at here so when one volt potential difference is applied across the two terminals of the conductor the 1 ampere not this point the current value is 1 ampere the 1 ampere current flowing through it then the resistance okay already we know due to potential difference there will be collisions yes there will be collision between the electrons yes yeah so the 1 ampere current flowing through it then the resistance which mean the collision this resistance value will be 1 ohm 1 ohm that's all is there any doubt you tell me no doubt so this suppose suppose a 2 volt suppose a 2 volt is applied across the two terminals of the conductor the current value is the current value is we consider a 1.5 the current value is 1.5 now what is the now, now what is the resistance value sir look at here now what is the resistance value okay look at here we have applied 2 volt potential difference across in the circuit the current flowing only 1.5 ampere what is the what is the resistance value sir already we know resistance is equal to r is equal to v by i am i right yes so v value yes 2 volt divided by i value just 1.5 1.5 and both the multiple with 10 we can get 20 divided by 15 you further divide 20 divided by 15 what will happen 1 15 15 remaining 5 dot add one zero and three forty five and it is equal to how much resistance value is one point three ohm that's all one point three ohm that's all this is how you need to calculate the resistance value that's all students very easy very very easy okay yes so the resistance one ohm which is defined as when one volt potential difference is applied okay so sorry that will be is 1 volt potential difference is applied across the two terminals of the conductor the one one ampere current flowing through it then the resistance value is said to be 1 ohm the resistance value is 1 ohm so this conductor resistance value is how much 1 ohm when 1 volt potential is applied uh, applied and the one ohm and one ampere current flowing through it that's already easy one Okay. Yes. Is there any doubt? You tell me. So I explain Tamil. Yes. Next to one ohm na enna na pakala. Enna pakala one ohm na enna sir. One ohm na onnil la. One ohm which is equal to one volt divided by one ampere. Yes. One conductor edu thuko. Idu one conductor. In the conductor enna ponna one battery oraya two terminals alla kind ponirko. Yes. In the battery enna ponna potential difference kudukko. Potential difference the kind of pressure. In the kind of pressure na enna ho electrons flow aho. Parathal na naduthu move aho. Amuva. Yes. Look at here, all going to go. So, now, if we one volt, one volt potential difference, put it up, then the battery, all going to go. One voltage, one voltage, put it up, then what is going to happen? One voltage, put it in the circuit, or in the conductor, or one ampere current, put it, then the resistance, the conductor's resistance value, one ohm. All going to go. If potential, now, battery, all one volt potential difference, put it. இந்த கண்டக்டர் வழியாக ஒரு ஆம்பியர் கரண்ட்டு போச்சு அப்படின்னா அதுக்கு பேர் தான் என்ன ஒரு ஓம் அந்த கண்டக்டருடைய ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸுக்கு ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸோட வேல்யூ வரும்னா ஒரு ஓம் சப்போஸ் இங்கே டூ வோல்ட் கொடுத்து கரண்ட்டும் டூ ஆம்பியராக போச்சுன்னா இங்கே ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் வேல்யூ என்ன டூ ஓம் சப்போஸ் இங்கே த்ரீ வோல்டேஜ் கொடுத்து த்ரீ ஆம்பியர் கரண்ட் இந்த 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 கண்டக்டர் வழியாக உள்ளே போச்சு கண்டக்டர் வழியாக வந்தது அப்படின்னு போச்சுன்னா ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் எவ்வளோ த்ரீ ஓம் 3 ohm suppose inga ni 2 voltage kuduthu inga current 1.5 ampere mattum pochu appadina resistance evlo which is equal to 1.3 ohm that's all idhula da vera edhume kedai idhula edha doubt iruka 
very easy very very easy is there any doubt no doubt at all okay yes that's all students okay yes so resistance mean nothing but the collisions the collision uh, the opposition to flow of electrons that is called resistance every conductor each and every conductor has resistance value but the resistance value is differ from one conductor to another conductor but all things okay all things have resistance okay not only conductor even insulator also have resistance but it is that is high resistance is it clear yes that is very very high resistance okay we will see one numerical which is based on the resistance okay students yes yes look at here a numerical first numerical i'll rub the die title numerical 1 potential difference potential difference between between two points two points of a wire of a wire carrying carrying 2 ampere current value how much as 2 ampere current 2 ampere current is 0.1 volt 0.1 volt calculate the resistance between two points calculate the resistance you calculate the resistance okay look at here students the question is the potential difference between two points the potential difference between two points of a wire carrying a 2 ampere 2 ampere current current only how much 2 ampere then 0.1 volt 0.1 volt calculate the resistance sorry here resistance calculate the resistance between these two points that is question okay yes so solution what what quantity we need to calculate that is resistance value we need to calculate yes okay according ohms law v which is equal to ir according ohms law okay i'll write here according ohms law v equal to ir yes then we need to calculate r value so when this i come this side this multiplication changes into division so we can get r which is equal to v by i r which is equal to v by i that's all this formula okay then what are the values we know you tell me current value we know i which is equal to 2 ampere 2 ampere yes then voltage v value which is equal to 0.1 volt 0.1 volt that's all okay yes then you substitute this both value in this formula we can get resistance value yes that's all so r which is equal to v value how much v 2 yes 2 ampere divided by then i value 0.1 yes 0.1 volt is it clear yes then both term multiply with 10 we can get whole number so 10 10 so which is equal to how much 20 divided by 1 am i right or wrong yes 20 divided by 1 so what is the value sir what is the value sir yes r which is equal to 20 oh sorry for that i mean mistake oh look at here i interchange the term sorry for that r equal to v by i sorry for that yes r equal to v by i so what is the v by I? v value sorry 0.1 sorry for that 0.1 volt then i value 2 ampere yes i value is 2 ampere sorry for that i small confusion okay yes so we can get r which is equal to v by i so v value is 0.1 and divided by i value is 2 then both the multiple is 10 sir we can get whole number the 10 and 10 yes so here 1 by 
20 we can get 1 by 20 you further divide 1 by 20 1 20 again 0 add 1 0 put a dot add 1 0 that is also small number again add 1 0 so 5 into 20 which is equal to 100 so remaining 0 so what is the value sir r which is equal to 0 0.05 ohm that's all 0 0.05 ohm so the resistance between these two points is 0 0.05 ohm that's all okay look at here so i value uh, according ohms v equal to ir r equal to v by i already we know i value and v value substitute this both value in this formula we can get resistance value is 0 0.5 ohm this is how you need to make numericals that's all students okay yes so this class getting over in this session we have studied so many things i hope this class will be very useful for you please keep on touching with studies okay students yes remaining you will see next video class thank you